Hi everyone, so let's do virology of CVS and in virology we have viral hemorrhagic fever. So in viral hemorrhagic fever, it is caused by arbovirus, filovirus and it can be rodent bone. So these viruses are enveloped RNA virus. There is no definitive treatment except for Lassa fever and there is no vaccine except for yellow fever and dengue. So, arbovirus uh, spread this infection by through blood sucking arthropods, and the families there are families like Toga viridi, Flave viridi, etc. So, firstly, we will do some general uh, clinical features. So, in viral hemorrhagic fever, we experience fatigue, fever, weakness, dizziness, and muscle aches. And in severe infection, there can be bleeding under the skin, internal organs or even from the external body orifice such as mouth, eyes or ears. And in the general laboratory diagnosis, we can do antibody detection, antigen detection and molecular methods. And as it's a viral disease, we can do virus isolation. In antibody detection, we can do it by ELISA and ICT. So, viral hemorrhagic fever, uh, ELISA is common. So, and the next thing is ICT. And then, uh, antigen detection is also by ELISA and ICT. So, which antigen do we detect? NS1. And we do virus isolation by mosquito in inoculation. And in mosquito cell lines and in mammalian cell lines and we can also do suckling mice intracerebral inoculation and in molecular pcr a molecular method we have rt pcr and real time rt pcr next we start from dengue dinga it's taken from word dinga which means gate so it's spread by a uh, dengue virus known as tenvi it has five serotypes and the vector is Aedes aegypti which bite during day and it is a nervous feeder. According to 20, 2009 WHO classification, dengue is of two types. First is with or without any warning sign and second is severe dengue. Then we have uh, one is primary dengue infection and another is secondary dengue infection. Primary is when dengue occurs for first time and it is mostly asymptomatic and after months to years infection with another zero type occur which cause secondary infection. In this two types of antibodies are produced neutralizing and non-neutralizing. Neutralizing are produced against almost all the antigen uh, all the zero types and non-neutralizing are produced against all the serotypes except the one which is infecting. This is the principle of antibody dependent enhancement seen in secondary dengue infection. When the primary infection is by serotype 1 and the secondary is by serotype 2, it's, the more, uh, it's more dangerous than any other combination. And perinatal transmission can also occur in dengue. So we do NS1 antigen detection on day 1 to 18 and on day 5 to 90 we can do antibody detection. In primary infection IgM will be till 90th day and IgG will be from day 14 to day 21. And in secondary infection IgG will rise rapidly. We do MAC ELISA which is IgM antibody capture ELISA. It is double sandwich ELISA. And which antibody do we use? Anti-human IgM antibody. And the antigen used is a dengue virus serotype specific envelope protein antigen. And we add evident biotin complex. We can also do neutralization test. Treatment is by replacement of plasma losses, correction of electrolyte and metabolic disturbances, platelet transfusion if needed. Next we have chikungunya. It is also transmitted by Aedes. It has two stages, acute and chronic. Acute may we see fever and severe joint pain due to arthritis, which is worsened at morning. 
arthritis is fully articular migratory and edematous it is less severe than dengue we also see chick sign which is browny nose appearance in chronic stage joint pain is persistent then we see ebola virus disease uh, also known as filovirus and transmission is by close contact with the blood secretion organs or other body fluid of the infected animals such as chimpanzee gorilla fruit bat or monkey it spread among people via direct contact or like through broken skin or mucous membrane the clinical manifestation include fever headache muscle pain and sore throat abdominal pain watery and severe watery diarrhea and we see diffuse erythematous macular papular rash petechiae et myosis of bruising often leading to shock and death antibody detection is by elisa ift similar similar methods are preferred and treatment is supportive so this was about viral hemorrhagic fever in which we saw dengue chikungunya and ebola virus disease